In this video, I'm going to show you how to download SVG symbol sprites using Nucleo. I have created a project and added some icons to this project. Now, to download the icons, let's select them, click on the download button, and here check the export as symbol option. Now, we need to insert the path to our assets folder, and in my case, is its assets. Okay, and pick a name for the SVG symbol file icons, for example, and then save. Now, let's open the folder we just downloaded. Okay, in this folder we have uh, the sprite, the SVG sprite, inside the assets folder. So, I have created a basic project, so what I need to do, I need to copy the sprite inside my assets folder. Okay. Then let's go back a CSS folder and let's open the style.css. This is some basic style for our icons. So we need to copy it and paste it inside our project. Okay. Finally, in the JS folder, the polyfill for Internet Explorer. and we need to include it in our index.html file. So here, script. Okay, so now we are ready to start. Okay, you can see that Nucleo also automatically creates a demo.html file. Let's open it. So basically, this file lists all the icons you downloaded, and uh, it, helps, it helps you to uh, include these icons in your project. Let's open the project, the index. So let's say we want to include uh, three icons. Okay, so what I need to do here is just clicking on the icon I want to include and copy the code and paste it in my index.html. I can do the same for uh, additional two icons. This one and this one. Okay, now let's check our project and we have our three icons. Remember that if you are testing it on Chrome, you need a local server for it to work and I'm using CodeKit. Okay, now what if we want to customize these icons? Uh, let's open the style.css. And here you see there is our primary color and we can change it to red, for example. And now our icons are red. What if we want to change the secondary color of the icons? Then let's target the use element icon, use, and let's set the color of red, for example. Perfect. Now, these icons are outlined, so what if we want to change the stroke of these icons? Let's go back to the index.html, and you see each one of these icons has a class of stroke2, and that's because we downloaded them with a stroke width of 2 pixels. So let's say I want to change the, the, the stroke of the first icon to be equal to 4, so I just need to change the, this class from stroke2 to stroke4, and save. And now the first icon has a stroke width of 4 pixels. Great. Finally, what if I, if I want to change the color of one icon only? I can add a custom class to this icon. For example, uh, um, bookmark. And uh, in the style.css, and set a color of uh, blue, for example. Okay, and then for the secondary color, color orange. Perfect. Now, what if we want to insert an icon next to a text element? Let's go back to the in to the demo.html file and switch from default to align to text. Now let's pick an icon, this one for example. And in the index.html, let's create a paragraph, add our icon, and then some text. Save it. 
and go back to the project. That's it. So this is how easy it is to download and create SVG symbol sprites with Nucleo.